I'm Sharon Bell. Of course, we all know that receiving a parcel is very exciting. However, here this is especially thrilling for me because this is my own product and it's the result of years and years and years of preparation plus many, many hours of hard work in the more recent past. And so I thought I'd share this special moment with you. And I'm going to start with this small parcel first of all, which doesn't look much at all, does it? However, here goes. I'm so excited to see this. Actually hold it in my hands after such a lot of hard work. So here I have my new book. This is my new book my Harmony and Composition textbook. It's the result of many, many years of study and I've gone through all of my old notes from way back from my A-levels, through my degree, all of my grade eight studies and even some of my diploma studies as well and I've distilled it down into a pocket-sized textbook and it covers all of the rules of four-part harmony and Bach chorale style harmony and it covers traditional style melody composition which is appropriate to grades 6, 7 and 8 music theory for the ABRSM syllabus. However, generally speaking, it's just a great, great resource for advanced theory studies of many different sorts. And if I just turn to the inside cover, I'll just share with you what I've written. It says in the introduction to all of my music teachers, Although at the time it must have seemed like my brain was made of stone, it appears that the organ in question possessed semi-porous properties and something did sink in eventually. And this is the distilled version of years and years of random stashes of notes where I've distilled it down into just the basics. And I've gone through all of my notes and given you, for example, all the rules of four-part harmony and, and a visual reference to just help you check your consecutives and uh, how to deal with, for example, unusual chords like the Neapolitan sixth and augmented sixths, the basic rules and what the chords and their types are in each of the keys and dotted throughout, I've given little quotes just to encourage you along your way and the first quote is by J.S. Bark and it says I was obliged to be industrious whoever is equally industrious will succeed equally well and so if you know if Bark says just work hard and you'll get there that's good enough for me and my intention is that this is a quick little reference guide and I have to admit I still do dip back into these notes in my folders and so now I can just reach to this and I shall be using this myself and so this is the result of years and years and years of work and I'm so thrilled to just have this in my hands here and of course this is available to purchase on Amazon and you can just go to either my author page or to my website if you go to SharonBill.com and go to Amazon and search for Harmony and Composition Sharon Bill you'll find it there and it also deals with the topic of traditional style melody, 8 bar melodies, 16 bar melodies and quick templates of what's going to get you the best marks for those and how to think about what's going on, what you're implying when you compose a short melody. So I'm going to put these here and then we can move on to the big box here. So a pair of scissors. So here we go. This is the big box. Now something completely different here. And again, this is the result of years and years of research, really. This tape's really tricky, isn't it? Just ah, bear with me. Don't want to damage what's inside, do we? Now, this is a hefty box. It's quite heavy as well. You can see there's a heavy watch out what you're lifting here. So I'm just going to 
to dig in here now then again this is the result of years and years and years of research you just gradually wait till the paper's out so I have a box full of my new music practice diary I've got an absolute box full here because I'm going to give one of these to each of my pupils because this is a result of conversations with a pupil of mine and also just kind of researching what's available because we discussed that it's really really helpful to track your daily practice routine to make the best use of your time just sitting at your instrument and having a good old bash through jolly as that may be isn't the best way to go about your practice and if you keep a diary and if you log what you need to work on what you've worked on what you plan for the next practice session is you need to be mindful about what you're going to achieve each time you sit at your instrument however it's really hard to find a good practice diary to purchase yes of course you can just scribble in a notepad but you tend to lose track of where you're going and you lose the sense of days falling into days and you need the structure of what it is you aim to do and we were talking about it and I thought well I know this is what I suggest to my pupils so why not make it readily available and just get my tips across to anybody who wants to know them inside here Oh, this is so exciting seeing it in the flesh we have a template for how to map out what you're going to practice each day things to think about from the last practice session which technical exercises scales arpeggios or warm-up exercises you plan to start your practice session with general comments about what you need to do today and then what to bear in mind for the next practice session tomorrow you've got little bits of manuscript paper to make a little note of certain sections if you want to perhaps write out how an ornament will work or a particular bar where you need to memorize certain notes and be aware of just little tricky sections I've kept it very straightforward because this is the template that you need to work on every time you practice you don't need great big pictures all over the place you don't need color coding you don't need stickers I mean if you want to stick some stickers in by all means do however you need to be careful that you don't spend so much time kind of bullet journaling and you know moving between diagrams that you're not actually doing the practice at all however you'll find that at intervals I've just interspersed some motivational quotes from luminary composers just to encourage you on your way and I've also given you little practice tips just top tips to help you to motivate you and to make the best use of your practice just developed and derived from decades of teaching the tips that I found will best help my students I've popped those in at sections just to guide you along your way I am so thrilled that this is finally here in my hands and I know that I'm going to use this definitely for my practice sessions too and on the back here I just explain that keeping a practice diary helps you to stay focused in your practice routine motivational quotes from luminary composers encourage you on your learning journey and top tips derived from over 25 years teaching experience help you to get the most from your time at your instrument this is appropriate to all ages and all instruments and basically you just need to plan your work and then work your plan thank you for sharing the moment with me again you can find this on Amazon if you go to my author page look for Sharon Bill or if you go to my website go to SharonBill.com and you'll find these books there amongst all the other books that I've published as well and um, I'm going to have a jolly time unpacking these and giving these to each of my pupils when term starts thanks for joining me bye